What's up, guys? I'm EJ. I'm joined by Shamari and Kendall once again for another DC fandom panel recap reaction. We're talking about The Flash, which uh, they finally uh, gave us a, a little bit of details of what we can expect from this movie starring Ezra Miller. Uh, Andy Muschietti is, is the director of that movie. I will go to uh, Kendall first. Um, we got to hear a little bit of the inspiration for the story. Um, we got to see a new costume for Ezra Miller's Barry Allen. What did you make of this panel? It was interesting. Yeah, definitely an interesting panel. Uh, they definitely went with like more of like a skit kind of vibe. It was, it was funny. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought uh, <laughs> some of the jokes Ezra Miller told were kind of funny, and you know, it, it kind of went with kind of the quirky kind of uh, gimmick yeah. a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, in terms of the movie, I mean, I think they didn't really add too much. They gave us, you know, a look at the new costume. Which I thought was interesting. Um, you know, it's funny. Like, you know, we joked that when we were watching it. Like, they definitely, our brother Henry and our dad kind of mentioned it's kind of like Iron Man. You know, with yeah. Spider Man, with the whole you know Batman giving him giving Spider uh, Flash a suit. Yeah, definitely some Spider Man Homecoming vibes there. But overall, I thought that this was a uh, I thought it was a good panel. Um, we know Batman. It seems like will be in the movie. We got the Ben Affleck obviously announcement this week. We they didn't reference it directly, but they kind of yeah. you kind of can tell the way they're talking that Batman's in the movie. Yeah. Um, and as far as you know, Michael Keaton will also be in this movie, so they didn't get get into any of the details of how any of that's gonna work, which is unfortunate. That's what I think they should have because there's so much misinformation out there. You know, oh Keaton's gonna be in Batman Beyond, and you know Christian Bale's gonna be in the movie, and <laughs> there's so much inform misinformation. It's like just tell us what's the deal, who's in it, what can we expect. And they were very, very coy about that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. But they seem to be very, very uh, confident in Ezra Miller as a Flash going forward. You know, they talked about him uh, in the multiverse panel. They talked about him uh, in the flat in that Flash panel. Uh, I think they talked about him in, a, in another panel earlier. But they've uh, they've been very, very uh, comfortable. It seems like with it, going forward with Ezra Miller. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, whatever you take with that uh, for what it's worth. Take that for what it's worth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've said if, if any of you out, you know, watching this video have, have listened to our podcast at all, you've probably heard me talk about this whole Ezra Miller uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. situation. We have an archive of conversations. An archive of, of many, many conversations with regards to this. Uh, I think keeping him on board is a mistake. I don't think it will end well. For those who don't know, obviously, yeah, there was a video. It Ezra was, Miller, uh, apparently, the, the video of him choking, uh, choking a girl, um, yeah. you know, for reasons unknown, and nothing was really said about it. Nothing was was done about it. Uh, Warner Brothers didn't release any kind of statement. Ezra didn't release any kind of statement. Um, I was surprised to even know that he was going to be <laughs> in this event. Uh, so, so yeah, you can take that with that, you know, what you will. Um, the panel itself, I thought, was actually fine. I mean, you know, he was trying to make, Ezra Miller was trying to make a lot of jokes. Some of them hit, some of them didn't. Uh, but overall, I thought the panel was fine. I think, you know, Andy Muschietti, I mean, I I, I love the It movies. I think they're fantastic movies. I think he's a fantastic filmmaker. Uh, Christina Hudson is obviously very talented. And, you know, I'm sure they I'm sure they are working on a wonderful movie. I, I personally really like the new Flash suit. I think the concept for it is yeah. great. I think... The fact that Batman helped him with it is a good idea. Um, so, I mean, the movie itself, I'm sure it seems like it's on the right track to me in terms of the development. Um, I just don't know how this Ezra Miller situation is going to work out, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Hudson, in, in the um, in the panel, she said that uh, the cinematic multiverse is going to be born out of this movie. Um, right. So to me, and I think at one point, I think she said that, you know, basically expect a lot of cameos, more or less. I mean, she was like, you know, doing this movie the way we are and having an inspiration of Flashpoint will allow us to really kind of, you know, go all over the DC universe. Hence why we got Michael Keaton, you know, being in this movie. And one of the concept parts that they showed had the Batman that behind them was Michael Keaton. Um, and so I thought that was a really, really awesome uh, concept art. Uh, I like this panel. I think that uh, they're headed in the right direction. You know, a lot of this was definitely Flashpoint heavy, not necessarily with like all the terrible ramifications of what happened with Flashpoint, but like like living in this idea that, you know, unlike 
Bruce or unlike Clark, you know, Barry's the only guy that has the power to actually change his his timeline and go back into the past and, and rectify some of the traumas he's had. The main one being the death of his mother that led to his father being incarcerated. So um, they're, they're leaning into that a lot. I think that's where we're going to see, you know, these Batman kind of come about. Um, but I got to be, and I love the suit. I think the new suit looks great. I think the idea that, one, they kind of confirmed that he's going to go by the name of the Flash based on his interaction with Grant Gustin's Batman. I mean, uh, Flash, which I think is a good idea. I think he'll maybe he'll even have some inspiration from the suit. And maybe he'll even go to Bruce and say, hey, I saw this. Because in that scene, he's like looking at uh, Grant's suit and like, oh, like so smooth and breathable. I like this. I kind of think maybe you'll see him go to Bruce and say, hey, like, I kind of was thinking something like this. And then Bruce will help him make it. So all that stuff makes sense. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing how they create that. But I got to be honest, this was nasty. This was a nasty panel to me. Um, to me, I understand, obviously, any kind of domestic violence situation is very touchy. Maybe there's, you know, an investigation involved. I'm not saying that. I expected them to come out and have some great statement of him to make some huge apology. Though I did talk about in the podcast that that this may have been the easiest place to do something, do something like that. I know what I didn't want to see. I didn't want to see Edson Miller go out there and do a funny man gimmick. I thought it was incredibly tone deaf. I thought it was incredibly distasteful. And I really it was hard for me to really even get into anything they were showing because of how they, they went about doing this. So that that was a that was a tough Thing for me to kind of swallow i wish they wouldn't have gone that route and, and that's then that was unfortunate yeah yeah i mean you guys know you know obviously i've been the most uh you know lenient on the ezra miller situation in terms of uh kind of waiting till we hear all the facts of the situation but like, letting everything play itself out so yeah, yeah. for me i've been more like i feel like look we don't know what happened but we, well, we do know the video, the video, the video happened. Whatever's in the video and happened. We, we know he choked a woman. That yeah. we know. Right. Yeah. We know that. Extent, <laughs> no, but there's no denying that. But we, what we don't know is obviously the context of the situation. Of and course. because of that, I feel like Warner Brothers obviously had a conversation with Ezra Miller. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Ezra Miller was like, I'm not talking about it. And they're just like, all right. Yes, whatever, but that would that would be like awful. Like CEO, yeah, not that, that don't do that one on one. Like that's right. easy. Don't operate. Don't run your business like that. So I assume they had a conversation. I, from what I from what I would understand, I would think that whatever happened, Warner Brothers is confident because they're a billion dollar business that it's not anything that they have to worry about. So I think they're they're they're. I think that's a fresh that's management. Crazy. That's a crazy copy. Uh, their crisis, the crisis management division was like, just don't, just don't, just leave it alone. I, it's interesting. Um, my, my thing is, Kendall, I, I, I mentioned that they maybe would try and do in the first when this initially came out was mm-hmm. just ignore it, but they decided to go. They've decided to really, really ignore it. I figured at some point they'd address it, but and my, and still, is, and, my thing is, Kendall, look real quick, Kendall. I, I get all that. To me, I'm not saying. You couldn't have Ezra out there. I just think him doing a funny man gimmick. And the last time we've literally seen him was him choking someone on video. Looks nuts. It looks nuts. I don't know how anybody could look at that and see and think that this is like, oh, you know, I it was nasty to me. It, it just was tough to stomach. Like, I can understand if he's done other you know, appearances, he's made comments, he's, you know, maybe not even comments on this. I mean, he's just been out here, out here, you know, in the public doing stuff. And that, you know, and then this was like his eighth appearance. And it's like, okay, well, by now, if he hasn't addressed it, he's going to be himself. But this is your first public appearance with this guy. And that's how you present him. That I couldn't, I can't yeah. accept that, Kendall. I can't, I cannot accept that. I don't care. You know, of course, there needs to be an investigation. Of course, you need to figure out exactly what happened but to not address any of what happened and then put him out there like that as if that didn't happen that was that was nasty that was not that was not okay and, and it was very disappointing it, for a panel for a, 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 a showcase and a, and a convention that i think has been awesome that was a moment that was tough that was tough to me to kind of get out of in terms of get out of my own head with with that i thought that was a mistake i can't believe they did it yeah it's disappointing Especially since they had a, they start off with Wonder Woman, who's such a powerful, exactly, you know, female 
Yeah, 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 it's very. And then, uh, yeah, and then you have someone that choked out of one. It's very odd optics. Yeah, you have Linda Carter show up and Venus Williams show up, and then a couple yeah. an hour later, a couple hours later, Ezra Miller's doing a stand up routine. I mean, come on, that, that was that was not okay. That was not. You better look. Well, I'll tell you, look, they better they better hope they got a good story. So if any day ever comes out, they. Yeah, I feel like they if they had a good story, story it would have come out. You would think they would have told it, but exactly. Uh, I like the content. Exciting stuff, concept art, looks cool. I love Ezra's new suit. Just this was not the time to do what they did with this panel with all being jokey and whatever. That just didn't work for me. But that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm EJ. That's Kendall Shamar. Of course, like I said, we do all of these um, kind of uh, conversations about superhero movies, superhero television on our podcast, our weekly pack podcast, New Generation Hero Talk. You can find that on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, Stitcher, and TuneIn. For Shamari, for Kendall, I'm EJ. Take it easy, guys. Peace.